The 2022-2023 season has concluded for the Miami Dolphins, and it is time to start looking forward to the upcoming offseason and what the team will do transaction-wise. There are loads of talent up and down the entire roster, and with that comes some gaudy contracts. There are some seriously high-priced tags for certain players on the Dolphins roster for the 2023 season, including five guys that are owed more than $17 million each. If Miami hopes to make the improvements that are necessary in order to be competitive next year, they'll have some restructuring to do, not only with the contracts but potentially with the roster itself, these numbers are certainly subject to change through restructures and transactions, but as of today, here are the 10 most expensive contracts on the payroll for the Miami Dolphins for 2023, 10. Connor Williams, $8,375,000, his contract was only for two years, and the Dolphins will likely enter 2023 knowing that it will be their final season with Connor Williams. The former Cowboys lineman was brought in alongside Armstead to try and bolster the offensive front. And he was forced to play out of position at center for the entirety of 2022. But aside from a few high snaps, Williams held down the position and was seen as a positive addition to the roster when all was said and done. The team could save nearly $5 million by moving on this summer, but his production will likely be worth the price tag. 9. Tua Tagovailoa, $9,633,000. Another off season conversation that we will all be tired of by late February if you're not tired of it already, will be what to do with quarterback Tua Tagovailoa. We will hear all sides of what will be a beaten-to-death debate, but the decision for Miami will be whether to pay him or not. The oft-injured QB is entering the fourth year of his rookie contract, but has no guarantees beyond 2023. He will be paid just under $10 million in 2023, but a contract extension could change that number by the time the next season begins. 8. Christian Wilkins, $10,753,000. One of the biggest priorities for Miami's front office for the 2023 offseason should be to pay Christian Wilkins. He'll see a pay increase of nearly $6 million from 2022, but he deserves more. Wilkins was perhaps the team's most impressive player on either side of the ball, aside from maybe Tyreek Hill, and made history by racking up the most tackles by a defensive lineman since 1994. He was one of the best run stoppers in the league, and led all linemen in batted passes. It is unclear how much he'll receive, but we should see Wilkins higher on this list in years to come. 7. Xavier Howard, $11,071,000. He is far from the lockdown cornerback that he once was, having to fight through injuries in 2022 and creeping closer to his 30th birthday. There were too many times throughout the year when Howard was being cooked by seemingly inferior receivers and other times when he seemed disinterested through his body language. The secondary will need some tweaking this coming off-season. But Howard doesn't seem to be a candidate for departure. He may not be what he once was, but he may be worth the cash to hold down the position for one more year. 6. Jerome Baker, $12,516,000. Baker will be entering the second-to-last year of his contract, one that has been steadily increasing in value over the last three seasons. The linebacker position for the Dolphins is due for an overhaul, and Baker could be one of the casualties, depending on the direction the team decides to go. Cutting him after June 1st would save Miami nearly $9 million, which is money that could be used to revamp the unit. Baker finished with the second most tackles of anyone on the team. 5. Emmanuel Ogba, $17,350,000. It will be more difficult to get out from under the contract that the Dolphins handed to Ogba last year, but they would be wise to try their hardest to do so. He went down with an injury early on in the 2022 season, and Miami decided to cover the absence by trading for Bradley Chubb, who is now taking up a large portion of the cap space. The team looks to have their pass rush duo of the future in Chubb and Jalon Phillips, and Ogba may become expendable. Trading him after June 1st would save Miami over $15 million. Finding a trade partner would be difficult, 4. Byron Jones, $18,851,000. Hopefully, Byron Jones will be an afterthought when the offseason wraps up. The former Pro Bowl cornerback was completely absent from the team in 2022 as it has apparently taken nearly a year to recover from. There hasn't been much glowing sentiment coming from the team and coaches about his desire to get back to action. 
the Dolphins can save money by parting ways with Jones this offseason. Which they will very likely do. Whether he is around or not, he surely won't be responsible for a nearly $19 million cap hit. 3. Terran Armstead, $21,750,000. Armstead is one of the is he worth it guys when it comes to his contract. There is no denying that he anchors the left side of the offensive line and that the team performs far better when he is in the lineup, but staying in the lineup is the issue. Armstead has dealt with injury problems throughout his career, and was often absent from the Dolphins' starting lineup when the team needed him the most. He has four more years on his current deal, too. Bradley Chubb, $22,197,000. The Bradley Chubb experiment has not gotten off to as blazing a start as one would have hoped as the pass rusher failed to put up the necessary statistics in order to live up to his large contract. His deal takes up nearly 10% of the team's cap, and will hold roughly the same value throughout the duration of the deal. If Chubb restructures, Miami would save nearly $15 million, 1. Tyreek Hill, $31,450,000, Hill's contract will almost certainly need restructuring as he is easily the highest-paid player on the roster for 2023 and is responsible for nearly 14% of the entire salary cap. Miami could save themselves over $18 million if they are able to restructure, money that could be a necessity as they attempt to fill out the roster this offseason.